Yo, what's up everybody? It's your main man, DJ Mark Antimate, coming at you guys with yet another episode of the DJ Mark Antimate Show. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Shure PG42 USB vocal microphone. Now this thing, I must confess, is currently unavailable. It has been discontinued, but you could still probably find it new from some online retailers and if you just do a quick search around I was looking for another one of these just to uh, get a general pricing of how much it may cost now and uh, I think I found that they're most widely available inside of Europe so if you're inside of Europe you're in luck but this thing is a beautiful vocal microphone and I'm going to go out on the line here and say that this is the best microphone that you could use for your YouTube voiceovers Maybe the reason why this thing is discontinued is because there are other more quote unquote popular microphones out there like the Blue Yeti or Blue Yeti Pro, one of these things. And um, not to say that those microphones are bad, but the quality of those compared to this is not even the same. This thing definitely sounds a lot better than those. I would say the big thing with those are maybe just the design and the style and the popularity of them had brought them up to the status of what they're at now. But this thing is quality built. It's quite expensive. It was expensive for me to buy actually. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I'm going to show it to you guys. So everybody's buying the Yetis now and things like that. Uh, well, because YouTubing and video gaming and giving voiceovers and stuff has become quite popular these days. Uh, at the time that this came out, I mean, of course, YouTube was around and people's narrating their videos and things like that. But it was not as big as it was when this came out in roughly 2010 as it is now. So now everybody wants to up their quality on YouTube and they want it to be the best that it could possibly be. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. I shouldn't have took that out. Shore Legendary Performance PG42 Vocal Side Address Condenser Microphone. Simply connect to a computer for convenient digital recording. It is simply that easy. Let's take a look at the features. Large diaphragm cardioid microphone capsule. Voice tailored frequency response. High sensitivity for refined performances. High pass filter, negative 15 decibel switchable attenuator, shock mount carrying case, and 3 meter USB cable included. That's 9.8 feet. The digital USB features USB plug and play, zero latency monitoring, integrated preamp with microphone gain control, monitor mix control for blending microphone and playback audio, headphone jack, 16 bit up to 48 kilohertz sample. For better than CD quality audio. Compatible with Windows Vista and Mac or later. Alright. First thing I got inside my box is. Uh, this is probably my warranty and receipt from the online shop that I bought it from here in Japan called Soundhouse, which is very good. If you live in Japan, use that one. I had some things inside of this plastic. Uh, safety instructions, manual. This looks like a little warranty thing back there. I'm not even going to open this up, and that's a big shore sticker inside of there. This says register online. Okay. Now that we got all the fun stuff out of the way. Here's the case. This case is extra special. There is no other microphones on the market that come with anything remotely close to this. This is a very 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 sturdy case it's made out of plastic it's not metal but it will 100 percent protect your microphone and when you open it up you got this styrofoam padding 
inside of there you got the padding here as well this thing is definitely 100 percent secure inside of there and it is not going to be damaged at all so inside the back you got your cable here a uh, nice usb 2.0 cable that's how you connect it and that's simply all you need uh, this is a little adapter for the mount here for the shock mount in case uh, this does not fit your microphone um, stand you just screw this inside of there and it will fit this is just an adapter and here's the microphone itself quite beautiful very beautiful this is this is the most beautiful microphone that I have all right let's go ahead and show you how to put this inside the shock mount so you take this shock mount like this you simply just slide it in there and this little piece here you just turn to the right and it's gonna screw into place and it's not gonna go flying all over the place so it's secure inside of there you can turn it upside down right side up it doesn't matter and then when you want to take it off just unscrew this thing again okay let's put that back into the case it comes with this nice heavy duty cable all you do is just simply plug the big end inside of there and you are ready to go and then you plug the other end inside of your computer of course it's plug and play this is a LED indicator light that lights up green every time that you talk into it this volume switch right here is to monitor your headphone levels you could plug your headphones inside of here it's zero latency so there's not going to be any echo uh, you're not going to hear yourself echoing back this is it's going to be a perfect sound everybody needs zero latency these days uh, this is a zero decibel to, to negative 15 decibel uh, switch in case you are playing something you're recording something that is extremely loud that's going to take it down a notch so that it's not too harsh and it's going to pick up on the microphone without uh, without cutting off at a very harsh sounding level uh, this monitor right here this monitor is for the uh, the monitor control mix for blending the microphone and playback audio this thing right here this is a low frequency roll off if you turn this thing to the left it's going to help help you with cutting out uh, background noise as to not to pick that up on camera if you have it turned to the right there will be more noise on camera but you know your voice is going to be more clear but it's going to pick up everything else as well so you might want to leave that switch on and then this mic gain volume right here this is actually how loud the microphone is going into the computer like you know if you have this down it might be like I don't know like negative 10 or whatever and then you start going up slowly it's gonna go to negative 5 and then to 0 you know this is gonna change the decibel levels the recording levels and so they're all those are all the features of this microphone again look at how beautiful that thing is really beautiful piece inside of there I wish I could take this off and show it to you guys but that that is what it is now real quick just for the record just to let you guys know the reason why I don't use this microphone so much is because I have something a little bit more expensive than this this thing is roughly about two hundred and fifty dollars but I got a real one uh, that I use with XLR cables and all that good stuff and I have a whole microphone system and my microphone total cost me about 700 US dollars it's also made by Shure this is the SM7B so I'm using that coupled with a cloud lifter and an interface and that's why I got this super crisp audio thing going on here anyways just to let you guys know uh, there is a XLR version of this 
PG-42 available, and I think that still being sold is just this USB model is the one that has been discontinued. But if you get the one with all the cables and stuff, you will have to buy an interface like I have in order to get it connected to your computer. But if you buy this, it's just simply plug and play, which is the beautiful thing about this. All right, let's close out with a quick microphone comparison. Right now, I'm talking on the microphone that I've been using to make this whole video with, which is my $700 SM7B. It's a total package microphone that I use with a preamp and something else. And it totaled the price of $700, all of the stuff together, just to get it to operate. Anyways, it's quite nice. It's my absolute favorite, and it's the one that I use in every video. All right, let's go ahead and say something. What's up, everybody? It's your man, DJ Mark Antimate, in the building, coming at you guys with yet another episode of the DJ Mark Antimate Show. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Shure PG42 USB microphone. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your man DJ Mark Antimate coming at you guys with yet another episode of the DJ Mark Antimate show. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a review on the PG42 USB microphone from Shure. And this is me talking on the PG42 now with the roll off on and using a pop filter. What I want to know is does this thing record in stereo? Yes, it does. It's quite nice, actually. Girl, close your eyes. Let that rhythm get into you. Don't try to fight it. There ain't nothing that you can do. Relax your mind. Lay back and groove with mine and when you feel that heat i knew a girl named nikki i guess you could say she was a sex fiend i met her in a hotel lobby masturbating with the magazine she said how'd you like to waste some time and i could not resist when i saw little nikki grind and just to let you guys know really quick, this thing has a lot of explosive peas when you're getting that nice close talk to it. So you will need something like a pop filter to put on your stand and connect to your microphone. You talk through this and this is going to take out all the explosiveness inside of your voice, especially when you say P words. And that's going to clean all that up. This is not too much money. You just get one of these uh, brand new or second hand. It's not that much. Just find any old brand on Amazon. They all work the same. It's just pretty much a piece of cloth that's being stretched out. And it's going to catch everything and kind of smooth it out when it comes out on the other end. You understand? All right, everybody. I think I showed you guys enough. It's about time to close out this video now. I am using the Shure PG42 USB microphone to do this closing out of this video. I'm talking on it now. I would like to say, comparably to the SM7B. This is quite comparable to that, although it's not as good, whereas that, that microphone is $700 and this is currently about $200. It's about a $500 difference, but the quality and sound, I'm going to say this is adequate enough to where once you buy this, if you're not a freak like I am, you don't need anything like the SM7B. This should be enough for you forever. There really is no need to upgrade from this point on. But, you know, I, I have aspirations and things I want to do with microphones. It's not only making YouTube videos, but I'm also doing uh, DJ radio broadcast. And also I'm, as you guys could tell, I'm a absolute terrible singer, but... You know, it's a dream of mine and it's an aspiration and I want to better my singing and I want to better my skills and hopefully I would like to do some recording in the future and I want the utmost quality, I mean, as good as you can get. And with this, although this is good, you know, I want all of my things to be at a professional level. 
you know, I aspire to reach the top, not just uh, to stay stagnant somewhere. And for me, that SM7B is the pinnacle, but this, this is very good. And in terms of USB microphones, this is the number one. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you do the usual like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And until next time, peace.